everyone welcome back to colouring with Kay thank you for joining me today so I hope you are all doing well and everything is going good for you so um, I thought what I would do is come on and quickly show you how I'm going to make one of my backgrounds in a million llamas so a little bit of sort of a colouring on camera um, with maybe a bit of colour and chat in there as well but we'll see how it goes so this is one of the pages that I picked in a million llamas by Lulu Mayo and it's this one here which is the beautiful uh, magical um, magician's hat with the rabbits coming out of it so um, I'm going to put this paper just here so what I was thinking is um, this paper at the side here that I was going to do a pan pastel background so you can see here I've got my pan pastels here and this is um, or these are the um, pastel sort, sort of pastels pastel tone pastels um, so that's what I was planning to do on the background now I know you can fix these with workable fixatives and things like that and I have got um, I've forgotten its name now, what it is, Spectrum, Spectrafix or something like that, I've got Spectrafix um, and then another one but they don't, they don't, well the Spectrafix anyway doesn't seem to work particularly well so um, what I sometimes do is I just try to get a way around it and what I, what I do is I put um, glitter over, over the top of it and then it won't move um, and it just sort of seals it in place and it'll give me that nice glittery background effect as well so that's the plan use pan pastels and then use this deco art galaxy glitter clear ice comet so because it's clear you should be able to see the colors of the pan pastels through it i'm hoping so anyway so um let's get started i shall um, bring you in a little bit i think so you can see that um maybe put this on top here because I don't want the other page to be spoilt right there we go and we'll start with um, I suppose we're going to use pink and peachy orange type colours so let's start with pink shall we so these um, what I'm using here are the um, Jane Davenport Batten Blenders so you can get these from Amazon and most places I find that they work um, quite well compared to you know the actual blending tools um, I prefer these really um, oh, I just realized and remembered that I haven't bought my eraser with me just in case I go over some parts that I don't want to go over I always forget something so yes yeah, so it's just going to be a soft pastel background because I want um, the actual image itself to be quite bright and um, sort of uh, standing out you know really colourful and um, against the background so I don't want the background to take over really hope I'm trying to make sense here hope I am making sense I might not be um, so yeah so how are you all doing how's September going so far um, I usually film my videos you know in advance I cannot do things last minute it stresses me out so I'm doing this video um, is it September the 7th yeah so we be starting work again I'm feeling a bit anxious about it but then again I'm always feeling anxious whenever there's a change so I'm going to switch to like a peachy colour now it's a peachy pastel colour 
Um, so yeah, it's just thing is I worry about things, um, and most people find change difficult. I guess because it is hard, isn't it? When you when there's something new from the you know you get used to things, don't you? And then when something changes, it's just unsettles you, especially when you're the anxious type of person, which many of us are. But yeah, I once I'm like um, there, things are all right, you know. I I don't stress it'll be all right once I'm actually there. But um, I do, I am anxious a lot about. It's the anticipation that sort of stresses me out. Now it doesn't really matter. Well, it does a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. Um, if I do go over some of the other bits like the like the rabbit or the butterflies or whatever I'm going around because pan pastel does really or any pastel really well not oil pastels but you know what I mean chalky soft pastels do come off really easily with an eraser so I'll probably use my Tombow uh, mono eraser to sort of um, erase the bits that I go over and the stars I will probably use um, paint, metallic paint or gel pen not quite decided yet hope I'm still on camera So yeah, I just find it easier to use this tool rather than the other one. Let's go for a bit more orangey on this side as well. Usually I do do my pan pastel background last rather than at the start. I, I colour my picture first but um, But because I'm going to go over it with acrylic paint, well, acrylic glitter paint, I'm not so um, onto yellow now. I'm not so worried about doing it first because it won't move once I've got the acrylic paint on it. So on this side, a little bit. So I'm only going to use, I'll show you the colours in a moment and then I'll go off camera and I'll finish this off, erase the bits where I've gone over certain parts. So it is hard to not sort of go over bits but um, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll do the next stage. So yeah, let me just show you. So come out a little bit. Okay, so the colours I'm, I'm using are the these shades here. So the pink, the peach, orange, yellow, possibly the lemon yellow. But that's about it. Those are the only colours that I'm going to use. So if you don't have these um, and you want to sort of join me on this, that would be really good. You could you could still use, you know, the other soft pastels and um, use, say, one of these... Um, sort of cotton pads to sort of lay it down so yeah you could still join in so I'll come back when I've finished doing the rest of the page right okay so this is where I've got to um, I think I've done an okay-ish job and I have used the Tombow eraser to sort of take off some um, pastel where I've gone over so like a little bit there missed but it doesn't matter even if I don't get it all done now because I will cover it up with pencil so just take all this off um, rubber dust okay so now um, what I've noticed is we've got these I'll bring you in a little bit can you see that I have or we have these little sort of lines and things with little dots and stuff um, and I want to sort of accentuate them 
so I have to do that before I put on the Galaxy Glitter because once I put this on it's going to form a coating which I'm not going to be able to use um, other materials on top so what I thought, I mean I've not done this before so it could go wrong but if it goes wrong it goes wrong um, I'll just be upset for a bit and then it'll be fine so um, I've got a few, in fact let me come out a little bit again I've got a few um, metallic Poskas so these are the um, PC1MR with the 0.7mm tips so I thought about using those just to go over the lines and just I don't know make it look a bit accentuate them before I put the acrylic um, glitter on top so I thought I could use um, I don't really want to use blues and greens so I'm going to take them out because I want it to be similar colors to the background so I think we'll use the um, what have we got it's pink gold and silver so I'm going to use those hopefully they will work um, bring you in a little bit I'm not going to go over the stars because the stars um, are going to have paint on them and I'm not going to when I put the acrylic paint on it's not going to go over the stars it's just the background bits so let's see if this works just try the pen now I'm using Posca because I'm hoping that um, that the um, acrylic glitter doesn't smudge it so I'll have to let this dry um, before trying to put on let me bring you in even closer before I try to even put the acrylic glitter on top um, I would really recommend you know if you are if you want to sort of jazz up your pages with glitter and stuff but um, you know you're limited you know you, you just want to sort of um, buy the least amount of stuff which is a good idea really um, then I would really recommend this um, it is I mean it can go on top of anything really so um, and it's because it's clear it's clear ice comet uh, you see the lovely glittery effect it gives you so that's a really good Thing which you can sort of it's very versatile that's the word so you can use it for different things so right we've got line there and then maybe this one here so I'm just going over these black sort of magicians lines make it look a bit jazzed up So yeah, I've done a few pages so far for September. Not that many, but I am mega, mega busy with work at the moment. September's such a busy time. Um, so, just checking, have I missed something out here with my pastel? Yeah, I might have done, hang on, hat goes up to there. Yeah, so I just realised I've missed a bit out. So I'm going to come back in a sec. Okay, so back again. I just missed out a little bit just down here. I missed these bits out with, you know, to put pastel on it and these bits. So I always miss stuff out. I just, I really need to sharpen up my observation skills. Right, so now what I'm going to do is use the gold Posca for these, I don't know, this star thing. Let's have a look here. So I'm just going over the black lines. like this yeah I forgot what I was talking about I think I was saying um, about the fact that I've completed a few pages like about three four pages I think for September so far which is quite good but I did start the pictures in August so um, I had a bit of a head start but yeah September is really busy for me so I'm not sure I'll be able to get all the picks done but I'll try my best um, there we go and then I'm going to use silver for you know these round dots so yep 
I really hope the acrylic paint doesn't smudge these. Usually when I do put the glitter on top it doesn't smudge it so that is always a good thing. So I'm hoping that that will be okay. So yeah I got my Rita Berman book finally and um, yeah, it was such a palaver basically so um, on Amazon before the release of the book the um, the the Walk Through Europe book by Rita Berman it always said unavailable so then I ordered off Book Depository because it was available there and then um, it never came from Book Depository for some reason and then I I waited quite a few days and then I saw that it was available on Amazon and I thought right I need to order it off Amazon but I need to cancel the book depository one or find out what's going on at least. So I emailed book depository and asked them what's going on with the order and they said oh it's not it's um, delayed at the publisher so I was quite confused but then I said okay I'll cancel it and then I um ordered off Amazon instead and of course it kept going out of stock on Amazon but I was very fortunate because it did come in a few days um, from Amazon um, but yeah uh, I did wait quite a while and it was a little it was a bit um, I was just trying to get hold of the book so much and it, it was like, like a wild goose chase a little bit but anyway, at least I finally got it. Um, I do think I'm going to get another copy of it and I will be ordering off Amazon. Um, and then I, when I, oh, by the way, when I did, when I did say to Book Depository, cancel the book order, I said don't cancel the postcard of Rita Berman. Don't cancel that because that's out on the 30th of September. But lo and behold, they did cancel that as well, so... I'm just going to wait nearer the time and probably get the postcards if they're available on Amazon. So yeah, finally got it after all of that backwards and forwards. Right, so there we go. So I think that's looking quite nice. I'm going to let the um, um, the Posca dry. And then what I'm going to do is um, use the Galaxy Glitter on top. So I shall be back in a sec. Okay, so let's get started with our last step. So we've got the Galaxy Glitter Clear Ice Comet. So like I said, you can purchase this off Amazon. Or even if you type it in into Google, um, you should be able to even get it from other suppliers. So I'm going to put a bit of this onto my um, palette here, or well, whatever we want to call it. So I've got a little bit of that there, so I hope you can see that. It's got little glitter pieces in it. And then I've got um, some brushes here. I've got a four round. I've got a zero. And I've got a three zero. Okay, so I'm going to start off with um, just getting the largest brush, I think, and bringing you in. So you can see it's like I said, I will do a little bit on camera so you can have a look at what it looks like, maybe the top bit there and then um, do the rest off camera. So like I say, this makes a little seal as well which is good so the pastel doesn't rub off. Um, let's go over the poscon. Oh, we seem to be okay, it's not smudging so far sort of dabbing it rather than making brush stro strokes which is good so yeah this is quite an easy background not like you know not particularly demanding So you should you'll be able to see the shiny 
shiny part where I've put it down. So I might switch to a smaller brush in a minute. So yeah, um, what else was I going to say? I missed a silver bit there to put a silver Posca but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Yeah, so I really do want to colour in the Rita Berman's book, particularly as it's, you know, I've been after it for so long. I've been like waiting for it the whole of August, as many of us have been. Um, but um, we'll see. Because I'd already um, made my books I want to colour in for September and I've got some lovely images that I need to colour, so... I might wait. But yeah, when I looked through the book, it's just gorgeous images. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, very detailed. They look really, really detailed. Um, and as you know, if you follow my channel, I like detail. So I am not complaining about that at all. Happy about that. And then the other recent book I got was Cottage Dreams. And, and me and Lucy from Lucy Just Dad's Colour are doing a buddy colour in that. So I need to start that picture as well because I, I like to prioritise my buddy colours. So hopefully... I think we're doing the cover image basically with a little cottage which is a lovely picture so we're hoping to do that right go back to this bit here So yeah, and the other thing that I'm filming at the moment, well not at the moment, but I will be upcoming, should I say, is um, my completed pictures in Lulu Mayo's books, just as an update, because um, I think Helena from the Colouring Zone suggested, you know, an update, because last time I did it was... Um, nearly a year ago so it's a good idea to review what I've done so far in those books and I know she loves those books um, and I, I really like them of course I work in them quite regularly so that is one of the videos and then someone else requested um, showing all the completed pictures in my um, mythographic books as well so I shall do that as well right so I'm going to do the rest of this off camera um, and probably switch to a smaller brush as well so um, I'll be back and show you the end result Okay, so I think I've finished putting on the acrylic, um, the acrylic Galaxy Glitter Deco Art Clear Ice Comet. And I'll just show you what it looks like. It's not completely dry, but um, you can see that, you know, it looks sparkly. Hope you can, I hope the camera's picking it up. But you can see the sparkle. And I think it gives it a nice effect, like, you know, a magical sort of thing going on with the rabbits out the magician's hat. So, yeah, I, I think it's all right. And it's quick and it's quite easy and straightforward um, to do. So, I might, um, I might do a, like, a second part where, where I do some colouring on camera, so using pencils maybe and other stuff um, but we'll see 
but yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this little video um, to show how I make a simple uh, glittery background um, and until next time take care of yourselves happy colouring bye